For 16 years, our family farmed raspberries. And when we weren't picking raspberries, we were making chocolate. We got beans from all different countries and started roasting and making chocolate and then giving it away to our family and friends and our neighbors who love to give us input from our test batches. Then we decided we need to go and actually see how chocolate is grown. So we went to Ecuador looking for a farmer because that's still that connection, that heart is a part of who we are and we want that relationship and we found some farmers that we connected with and, and just really enjoyed being in their homes and on their farms. There's just this heart connection because we farmed and we know the amount of work that it takes to, to actually grow something and to do it well. And we just decided that it would be really a fun thing to bring that to the city. So we sold our farm and decided to build a place where people could come and experience the story of chocolate. We actually made it open so that people can come in and talk to the chocolate maker, watch chocolate being made, and really experience the hospitality that, that happens when you come into somebody's home. I guess it's just a bigger picture than just chocolate. It's a matter of sharing our heart with people. The name Creo means I believe in Spanish and I create in Latin, which is really who we are. We believe in making a difference in the world wherever we go, and we're going to do that through making chocolate. <laughs>